and gentlemen, Snowden on Ice, an original television musical. And special guest Scott Hamilton as Scooch. While he turns and he twists, go on, make a wish, and he'll do what he can. A little hocus and focus, alakazam. If you ever need a helping hand, just ask the Zamboni man. Allow me to introduce myself. Scooch is the name, and in addition to all my other skills, talents, and chores, well, I'm the Zamboni man. This little doohickey right here is a Zamboni machine. And with it, I keep the ice nice. I guess the only one that really knows what I do around here is my old pal Snowden. He doesn't talk much. You better put your hat on, Snowden. You're going to catch your death of heat. I used to clean the ice for him, and after he was done practicing, well, he'd come by my shack for a little rum toddy. <laughs> Just to take the chill off, mind you. Uh, it wasn't the rum talking, though, because truth to tell, I never did put any rum in those drinks. It was all toddy. <laughs> but Albert never knew. Still, every year around festival time, I, I think about that. What could have been if what happened hadn't happened. It'd be fair to the others, don't you know? Like all the isoholics in this town, I sure get into the spirit of the thing. Even the mayor and his wife, well, they lace them up and they cut quite a figure. Time to unpack my heavy coat in my hat. He says that snow is on the way. Time to get ready for a skater's holiday. A single mother and her young daughter are heading back to town with other things on their mind. There'll be a snowman there and skaters everywhere in a new hometown. Oh, can't find the key? No problem. Oh, it may be musty and dusty. After all, it's been several years, but the things that really count are still untouched. How it was and how it can be for her. And being the good writer that you are, don't leave out the details. When you uncover the furniture, you also uncover the past. There's an old saying that goes, the party's over when you run out of ice. Anyone who gets in the middle of that argument would find himself in cold storage. Never a good color for Shana, but green with envy is going to be a threat. Whatever else she remembers about this town, Kate hasn't forgotten that you're not accepted if you don't skate. <laughs> Pushing her little bird out of the nest must remind Kate of that first competition when she was the one getting ready to fly. Even though Albert had warned her she wasn't ready to try that difficult jump, 
Well, Kate, with the courage of youth, went all the way. The worst thing that could possibly happen, happened. At that ten, this is my favorite time. No one is around except for Snowden. <laughs> Albert made me promise never to perform that move when people were watching. Well, you are people, aren't you? Well, he was something in those days, all dressed up in that jacket with the candy in the pockets and all those brat colored buttons. The work is play, it's no longer work, he would say to little Katie Lou when they were out in their ice together. There's always a reward for doing good work. Would you like to find a genie inside of a lamp? Make a wish. Kind of funny if he says you sound. You're a fish. Wouldn't be a bad idea for Kate to take the book, go to her bed, and I don't know, perhaps read her a chapter or two from Snowden and the Bird Who Couldn't Fly. What do you think? And in the dark, she hid a tree and landed like a rock. Afraid to move and cold and wet, she lay there nearly dead. Snowden to bring out the best in them. Test the Zamboni. 